Alrighty. Rest in peace to Miss Toni Morrison. Your work and your legacy will be carried on for eternity. You know, the artist dies at age 88. Wow. Wish she could have made it to 100. But let's read on. You know what? I don't even have to read it. Miss Toni Morrison, she was born in, you know, Ohio. Her family moved from Alabama because of the racism, and they feared that their daughters was going to be raped by a white man. Um, that's the real story. They're going to give you the watered-down version in this, but that's truly what happened. Um, moved to Ohio, mixed city, uh, you know, different races, and pretty much went on to Howard University, where she eventually became a professor there. Then eventually she wrote some books. It's on some notable books that everybody knows about and became this famous author. You know, that's that in a nutshell. But, you know, I'll say this. Her books inspired me as a child because, you know, we had to read her books in school. I think around, I think it was around elementary and middle schools when I read her books. And, you know, that inspired me to write, you know, which I still do to this day. Writing little short stories, you know. Hopefully, I can put it into something, turn it into a movie, anything. But rest in peace, Miss Toni Morrison. You, I saw your movie, your documentary. It was good. Um, I like how they betrayed you. I'm glad that they put that out so that more people can learn about you, especially the youth, because you are a staple here in America. And I hope you live on. Hopefully, you know... Uh, Hopefully we get like a, a real live movie, not just a documentary, like a real live movie of your life. But hey, only one can dream. That's it.